All right, what we have here, this is a 75% Jampia Tiger. So you've got a, a Tiger mainland bred to a Jamp and then bred back to a Jamp again to make this a real high percentage dwarf. And this is the wave of the future, guys. I just want to keep you guys updated. The dwarfs and stuff are cool. People never know how big they get and stuff because they can be influenced more by the mom than the dad and, and vice versa. You can get some very small ones. You can get some bigger ones. But once, once you start getting into the high percentage stuff, the value on these animals goes up a lot. And this, believe it or not, is over a year old. And these are going to be some tiny, tiny little tigers. I have a pair of these guys. Again, these are from Jampia lines. And adult Jampias, you know, they've there have been adults known to breed nine foot for females and get good clutches of eggs. So this guy, again, over a year old, is going to be pretty small, a lot like the Jampia. And the cool thing about it is you can see that Jampia influence in the pattern. Real pinstripe borders, wide white dots down the side, real cool looking bright white bellies. So they look unlike most tigers that you see. And we've got a pair of these. So bred together, you can actually make 75% dwarf super tigers. That doesn't exist yet, the, the high percentage dwarf super tigers. And when the, with the super tiger washing the coloring out and everything on these, they should be really cool. So a lot of the high percentage dwarf stuff, guys, when you ask uh, what's the value on the dwarfs and what's the size on them, you know, the, the value goes up and the size goes down as you get higher and higher percentage dwarf, like this beautiful 75% Jampia tiger.